morning. Today is October 9th, 2020. My name is Father Trav and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let's begin. Friends, today we'll be focusing on the life of St. Denis of Paris. St. Denis of Paris. St. Denis of Paris was a third century Christian model and saint. And first, I should state that little is known about his life. However, St. Gregory of Tours states that Denis was the bishop of Paris and was martyred by a sword. The earliest document that describes his life and martyrdom, the paper entitled The Passion of Denis and the Free Farmers. However, from this record, we learn that Denis was sent from his home country of Italy to convert the people of Gaul, located in today France. And he was sent there by Pope Fabian. And while there, it was, this is where he was appointed Bishop of Paris. You see, Denis and his companions effectively converted people that the non-Christian priests became so alarmed over their loss of followers. And at their instigation, the Roman governor arrested the missionaries along with Dennis. And after a lengthy imprisonment, Dennis and two of his clergy were executed by beheading on the highest hill in Paris, Montmartre. After his head was cut off, Dennis is said to have picked it up and walked several miles from the summit of the hill, preaching a sermon the entire way, making him one of a few people to have done such a miraculous deed after his death. St. Dennis was buried on the site of his martyrdom, and on top of it was constructed the Basilica of St. Dennis. For this reason, today, October 9th, we celebrate the life of St. Dennis. Let us pray for his life. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who sent Dennis and his companions to preach your glory to the nations, and strengthen them for their mission with the virtue of constancy in suffering, grant, we pray, that we may imitate them in disdaining prosperity in the world and in being undaunted by any trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, today we present to you the life and work of St. Dennis. May his life of service always be reflected in your life. As usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.